Alrighty, ladies. I messed up the last video. I'm re-recording it. I'm going to tell you guys how to come up with the things your uh, game is telling you on Westby, Wisconsin, to feed your animals. So with that being said, you open up your animal menu, and you can see I got the tie stall and actually two pastures. The second pasture doesn't have anything in it as of right now. So the tie stall is what's going to produce the milk, and your total effectiveness in this case is TMR or forage. It is changed from the base game, so you need to put in the silage, hay, and grain. Now with that being said, this is in the Animal Food XML. Definitions of silage would be grass windrow, silage, and grass fermented. What is in hay, which is uh, dry grass windrow, and then what you got for grain is mineral feed and CCM, which is the high moisture for fermented corn. And the big thing with this is you come down to your productions, and you can see you already got the corn silage, haylage, and earlage. And with all this stuff out, you'll take the earlage, raw cornmeal, turn it into fermented cornmeal, which is CCM. So that works like mineral feed. Then haylage is also going to work like silage in this case when you feed it to the cows. So these two, or the two silage, haylage and silage will work together. And then your earlage is what is going to get you the grain. And then for this hay, it is straight hay. So you could feed them straight hay bales. If you want to mix this stuff, this is where the mods come in. I am currently testing the silage blower from JCL here. So with that being said, there is a new Holland one on JMF Modding Itch.io where you can also find the little uh, feeders along with this little bed. This bed is a mineral bed. So with that, that being said, you come over here, you can fill this up with mineral feed. I'm going to show you guys how to take it from oats and turn it into mineral feed. We come over here to the Gale uh, hammer mill, mixer mill, and you should already have this. Should have came with the map downloads. And with it empty, you do not want anything in it. We're going to open the cover. And I know some people are having issues with getting the cover to actually open. So you will have to go into your key bindings and change the key binding to open cover. Sometimes it's been having issues. It's a known thing with giants. Go figure, right? But I have oats in this gravity wagon. With that being said, if I can get it close enough, I will be able to dump this into the hammer mill. Oh, come on. There it is. I'll dump this into the hammer mill. We'll fill that full of oats. And the hammer mill has the fill type converter in it. So the biggest thing with that is once you put a fill type in there, like oats, wheat, barley, soybeans, and, uh, well, actually, let me start over on that. So, it takes the dry corn, soybeans, wheat, barley, and oats and turns it into mineral feed. With that being said, mineral feed then, from this hammer mill, gets turned into TMR. So, I'm going to show you guys real quick on how JMF set this up with this. Um, MB Farms and Tired Iron. So I'm going to come over to his grain bed here that we get off his modding page at Chio. Let me turn around once. And the auger is on mouse control, so you don't even have to push anything. You get in the trigger, you should start to see it. You should start to see it unload like that. And if it stops just like that did, you gotta move it back to its area. 
going away for us today. And once this is done unloading, we are going to spin right back around under the spout of this grain bed here, mineral bed. And we are going to refill the gale here. And it will then convert mineral feed into TMR forage so we can take it out to our pastures, to the cows, and get them full productivity out there also. Since there is no grazing in the game yet itself, it sucks because it doesn't matter how much grass you got out there, it does nothing for your cows. So we're still at the limitations of the game here with everything, like normal. But we got a pretty good workaround on Westby here on how to get this all to work. I'm way too close again. Pull up the help menu. Because obviously I need help. There it is. So we're going to fill it up. It's going to fill up with mineral feed. And that's good enough. We then are going to all the mail right out into the pastures right into the creek feeders and if you guys have been playing this like I have you'll notice in the pastures there is a water trough as far as I know we do not need to worry about water but there's also a bale ring out there that bale ring is your straw point you can put straw in there to help you out and get the productivity of your cows up to par where you would like it. You uh, should also be able to put hay bales in there, which remember if you want to feed it all three separate, you do silage, hay, and then uh, mineral feed. They actually made this really easy on us. All you gotta do is take the uh, hammer mill right out into the pasture. And I mean, you could even dump this into a, a different wagon if you wanted. Once you put mineral feed in it, dump it out, it turns it into TMR or forage. I need to stop saying TMR because it's classified and uh, Little Hut is actually forage. But the game still somewhat reads it as TMR too. So we get it close. Oh come on, you had it. And then we go into our cows, and you'll click on the pasture, and you should see the numbers jump up just like it did. And when it jumps up the total effectiveness, it's also jumping these up down here. And this is actually the eat weight, or uh, what am I looking at? Yeah. So it's actually the production weight. It's going to help you with everything, too and get the productivity and health up it acts the same as tmr did in the base game it's just a different way of making it so with that being said that is pastures in the gale then we are going to come over here and jump right into my chopper once get this thing fired up i already have some uh earlidge in there you can grab the earlidge header off of my Facebook page. It should connect to all the choppers, unless it's a modded one and somebody changed the hitch type. And with that being said, you disconnect the header. It will say earlidge. It does not work with combines. It shouldn't even hook up to a combine. Yes, you'll have to buy two different headers. It's just the limitations of the game as of right now until we can get some scripts that change it. But, come on, longer row than I thought, just like the last video, should have known better. Once we get the earlidge up to the farm, we're going to bring it close to the blower, and I know the New Holland blower, the trigger is pretty sensitive, you got to be pretty dang close. You could just knack, or just jackknife the 
forage box right around and bring it right in pretty close to get it to work. I highly suggest with the New Holland blower that you do not use any tractors with duals on it. You bump it a little bit, it could go haywire, and then you'll have to jump back in your other tractor that's on the blower and set it all back up and finagle it around. This way, uh, as we keep working on all these mods, they will be out to the public for you guys to have fun with also. And really the only things I have that are not would be the Oliver and this, uh, well I guess the Oliver, the 4020 here is a private edit and the silage blower has not fully been released yet by JCL so everything else should be public now. So with that being said I'm going to come swinging tight, try to get the trailer as close as I can without hitting everything. And then I'm going to jackknife it a bit as I back up to get the front of the trailer to go over about right there. The big thing with your silage blower, you need to jump on your tractor and it needs to be running. In order for this to blow up into the silo, it needs to be running. And once we get it in there, and if it works, you should see it come out of the blower just like that. The New Holland does the same thing. So that way, if that you're not seeing that, you're not in the trigger in the right spot. The little red box right there over that pipe. That pipe and the red box go together. That pipe and little red box is what you're looking at to get your silage blower too. There's been a lot of questions going around with it, and uh, I'm willing to help and answer questions if you guys have them. Once we have that said and done, we are going to come over here and I got a few things on the ground because I do not have any hay available in the er, hay lidge, grass lidge, whatever you want to call it. I do not have any of that available in my silos. So I actually have straw down, which I do not want a full bucket of. And this little mixer actually holds quite a bit. You don't have to get too scared with it. We are going to come over the top of the mixer. As long as I'm good, I'm going to put the straw in, and then I'm going to grab a full bucket of grass, or excuse me, of hay. This is hay. So say you're, you made round bales or square bales out of the tedded grass that turns to hay. This is what I'm putting in next, and then once I jump into the little mixer, I'll show you guys exactly the way this concept all works out. It's actually pretty freaking nice. So, the biggest thing to make in a mixer, your forage, or TMR, is you need at least 20% dry windrow, or dry grass, which is hay, or the grass fermented which would be haylage and you'll also need at least 20 percent silage that's it so if that's all you want to do go ahead but if you want to put filler in like straw because we're already combining wheat barley and oats you might as well drop the straw put filler in that doesn't even have to be in there but zero to thirty percent it works great as a filler then mineral feed and ccm does not need to be in there but it is very little percentage and you can see in the bottom left corner of the help menu on exactly what I mean so we're already out here I'm gonna drive this thing hopefully without tipping it over to the mineral feed bin I'm just gonna put some in because we got quite a bit of silage we could put in this to keep it right and you're gonna try to keep all these bars green that's huge in order to get this to come out as forage so now all I have to do is silage. Come on cameras. So I'm going to drive right in here and drive to my second silo. Now like I said before it's under productions. Your productions these have to be on. You got activate and deactivate. 
on every single fill type. So they need to be on, and this is going to show you the amount of uh, chopped corn that I got in is chaff, then the amount of grass that I would have in, chopped grass, and then the amount of uh, earlage that I got in, which is raw cornmeal. Then this is the output of silage from chaff. This is the output of uh, grass silage, excuse me, grass silage. And then this is fermented cornmeal, comes from your earlage. If you guys are not getting any productions, it's because you do not have it activated. And every single silo you place down will have a separate activation trigger. So with that being said, I'm right here. Uh, I think I gotta go a little farther forwards. There it is. And the trigger's usually on the back side of where you fill, usually. So from here, I can pick silage, and there's my fermented cornmeal, and my grass silage, which is empty. So we are gonna pick silage, and you're gonna see the silage section go up, and there's actually a lot of room left. You can see how much in the mixer that I actually have left for it. So we can mix up quite a bit in this little tiny mixer to get it done and over with. And it's actually really easy. So now with that being said, let's go grab our fermented cornmeal. And you're going to be seeing it goes in on the bottom. As long as I did not make that red, that was close. It works the same as mineral feed. We have forage, or as many know, TMR and we are going to bring it right into the Tysol barn now since I do not have much straw on the ground and I'm not going to worry about it once this is in and the cows are fed here's a red Tysol barn you'll see the numbers going up I got to get some straw in here so I'm just going to cheat that right into the mixer and we'll plop some straw down and this is the same thing here should be the same trigger and the biggest thing I found I'm not sure if you guys know of any TMR mixers and tractors that would actually fit in here so that's why you're gonna have to use JMF's uh pieces from his itch io but maybe this ra 142 coon would fit in here highly doubt it it is a low ceiling while that's unloading i'm gonna go and show you guys a few other things so depending on how long it takes to load like the game likes to be stupid oh come on in silos you will see over here we got all the grain bins oh that's a production one i don't know where the brock dryer is but on jmf's uh itch io he has a bunch of different silos and this would work the same thing as the hammer mill it takes or no, excuse me, as a silo, it takes uh, corn and turns it into mineral feed. Your other silo will take uh, chaff and grass to silage. That's a personal edit. Then with the game, we have these, or with the map, excuse me, we have these silos. Like I said, the little black pipe is your fill and this bigger chrome metal looking one is your unload trigger and as long as you got that's exactly how I place them as long as you got the place anywhere off or toggle free mode off you could place these right into the barn so you can run right with it then you also have your manure piles I thought there was one more somewhere hiding around here unless that was my doing nope Those are all the cow pens that come with the map.
All right. So is it container? Yeah, container is his little grain bin here. So you got everything you need right there. And then the lastly, this is what I wanted to show you guys. That we can mow a lot of the crops that you plant. And by mow, I mean green mow it. Come on. Quit clicking on the wrong one. So I got the 4440 out here on the mower. Fire this bad boy up. And the mower should make all these turn into grass windrow, which technically you could head into hay and make round bales out of it, or hay bales out of it. Or you could use a chopper and pick it up and ferment it into grass lich. There's plenty of different options. And the biggest thing is do not try to combine the green sorghum or any of the crops while they're green because it will fill your log with a bunch of errors because it's not made for the game. It doesn't have the correct files to read. But if they are brown, like that field in front of me where my combine is sitting, you guys are good to go. And uh, lastly, just wanted to talk to you guys about the things I've been hearing. So grass lidge, when you pull it out of the silo, a lot of people have been saying, unless you use a bucket or something, but when you directly put it into a TMR mixer, it comes out as hay. So we will be looking into that and trying to figure that situation out. I have not got far enough to test it yet. And I will be looking at the XML side and see if I can't get any errors while doing that. And as of right now, that should be everything. Thanks for watching. Any questions, comment below. And I will try to answer them the best I can. Thank you.